Hello, everybody. Very happy to see you again. Welcome to the fifth anniversary celebration of the Hollywood Art and Movie Awards. Five years already we've been doing this festival. Originally, we created the Hollywood Art and Movie Awards to be a direct connection, a bridge uh, between Paris, where we have the Paris Art and Movie Awards, and Hollywood. So filmmakers in Los Angeles can easily connect to a festival English speaking in Paris. And so filmmakers in Paris can connect to a festival in Los Angeles with a French touch so they don't get lost in translation, literally. Um, the network is made of three festivals, the PAMA, Paris Art and Movie Awards, the HAMA, the Hollywood Art and Movie Awards, and the YVFF, the UK Valley Film Festival. So the PAMA is the original festival, the HAMA is the one we are here for today, and the UK Valley Film Festival is the last one. Uh, three years ago, we created with a town, UK Valley in California, near Joshua Tree, a local festival for a community who love movies. We had William Baldwin, we had um, many local filmmakers, we had filmmakers from LA and from all over the place. And all these three festivals connected to connecting together create opportunities and a network for the filmmakers. And this year, once again, we've been added to the list uh, on Film Freeway uh, of the top 100 best reviewed film festival. Uh, this is something that matters a lot to us because it's um, it's an accolade that really reflects the work of the festival and the fact that we provide to the filmmakers stuff that matter. And filmmakers connect to us, come to the festival and review the festival. We are a five stars film festival. So thank you for that. Um, it's really something that we are proud about. So we wanted to talk a little bit about it. Today, we're going to have a uh, very different variety of works and uh, the best way to do that is to welcome right away the filmmakers of today's panel. We have Maria, Lachlan and uh, Ben and we have Bernardo. How are you guys doing? Great, thank you. Yeah, really good. Really good. Yeah. Welcome Hi. to the Hollywood Art and Movie Awards. Very happy to have you. You, Each of you uh, have a very different piece set of work. This is what we called digital experiences. So basically, um, Bernardo has a music video, Maya has a web series, and Lachlan and Ben, you have what we call a promo. Maybe it's a commercial, maybe it's an experimentation. We're going to talk about it. Uh, that's the idea. So we get a little bit more familiar with your work. Maya, do you want to start? Do you want to tell us a little bit who you are? your filmmaking background, maybe where are you calling from? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So currently I'm living in Brooklyn. I'm from New York. I went to SUNY Purchase and that's where I got a playwriting and screenwriting degree. And that's kind of where my love for filmmaking came, my love for comedy. Um, and yeah, should I also explain about my show? N not yet, not about the show. Oh. We're gonna go back to the show. Okay, okay thank you for that. So the dynamic duo of this morning, uh, each of you, can you tell us a little bit about you and um, the filmmaking background and how you maybe how you came to work together? Yeah, so Ben and I, we've got a um, quite a long background working together. So we've worked together on and off over 13 years, roughly, um, with cool. a background in action sports and uh, like a lot of sports documentary style pieces. And now like a, a lot of uh, branded content in the action sports space. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a pretty pretty crazy ride. We've done a lot of really <laughs> out there things, but we've kind of found our found our place in the filmmaking world and having a lot of fun with it. So we've got our film company here in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales, Australia. And uh, yeah, we still we still try and travel the world amongst all the crazy stuff going on at yeah. the moment that um haven't, haven't been in a while. So yeah, I guess the action sports um, area uh, has been affected like everything else. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Um, we we work closely with a, a freestyle motocross athlete, and he's been able to get across to the United States. And um, yeah, we haven't we haven't been able to travel in a while, so we've been sticking to Australia and focusing our energy yeah. on here for now. Yeah, it's it's moving around. It's gonna it's gonna get better. Bernardo, uh, can you tell us a little bit about you, your background, from making background, uh, and you are calling from Chile, correct? Yeah, I'm from Chile. Excuse me, my English, but. Uh, um, here in Chile, uh, I have been directing films, commercial and music video, like from 10 years. And I love doing music videos. And for me, it's like something like 
experimentation all the time. Maya, uh, let's start with you. So you submitted a uh, web series. Mm -hmm. The web series um, general title is Waiting. Yes. Waiting for what? Can you pitch it to us? <laughs> sure. So Waiting follows Zoe, which is my character, um, who's a virgin in college. And it's kind of her experiences through hookup culture, trying to find a relationship, dating, while having very open and... Um, sexually open friends so it's kind of just like the awkwardness that goes into that and just the awkwardness of hookup culture in general and I guess waiting is kind of just um she's just kind of like waiting I guess you could say for the right guy but also just to feel comfortable in herself uh, as just like a sexual woman and um yeah <laughs> so can we define it as a comedy yes yes it's definitely um a comedy okay uh how much of it is inspired from real stuff and how much of it is just an exaggeration? I hope a lot of it is uh, an exaggeration of the actual relationship uh, thing between people. I would say it's probably 90% all true. I mean, I definitely, <laughs> it's definitely based on experiences that happened to me in college. I definitely elaborated more on it, but um Yeah, I think that's kind of just really what's inspired the story because of just the awkwardness of it all, the awkwardness of dating and um, all the cringe moments that come with that. Um, so that's kind of how it came to be. Yeah, we're going to go back to that. Sure. Bernardo, um, this music video is extremely visual. Um, it's uh, beautiful. It's also kind of hot. Can you tell me a little <laughs> bit... Um, Can you tell me how you came to decide to go this way in the visual and um, the story you wanted to tell? Okay, um, this is a curious, uh, curious story because uh, here in Chile I do a lot of music video, but sometimes like pop music videos or indie pop music videos. Um, and this band is like a rock proc music band that like email me and say we want to make a hardcore love story uh, and i yeah. say okay and is they wanted like sex like violence like okay it was for me it was like ah oh, this is like a short film um, um and we tr treated like that like okay we are going to do like And uh, this is start like 2019. Okay. But we have a lot of problems because here in Chile we, ha we have like a, a lot of manifestations and, and then the pandemic and yes, yeah. we have like a one year delay. <laughs> but it, it, but you did it anyway. Um, yeah. You say so. A lot of the problems. <laughs> It's a hardcore love story, uh, three people. Uh, you say it's violent. I didn't find it violent myself. Explicit, yes. Violent, I wouldn't use that word. Um, but it looks like there are movies in that genre um, who go visually to the edge, who uh, kind of push the limits and boundaries of it. Uh, it's not very often you go to do it in a music video because music videos are supposed to be promotion for a band. And what you, what the band wanted, basically, it, can you tell us why they wanted to do that? Why did they want to do something, you said, I think, that hardcore? Yeah, because uh, one thing is the lyrics. One thing is like it's a it's a song of seven minutes. Yeah, and in a way you can translate that in something more cinematic. Uh, for me, it was like for me it was like this is not like a typical rock band music video i want to do something different i want to tell a story i want to uh, go go back go back uh, go forward in time yeah. you don't know what happened where and 
It was a mix of things that I think that it works. Like I like it. It does. It does because because also it's very visual and it's very beautiful to watch. We're gonna get back to that. Back to Australia, guys. Um, what is it that you did? Is it a commercial? Is it an experimental visual adventure? Uh, is it a piece you made to kind of showcase your the talents of your production company? How did it start? So this one started, it's actually for a client of ours um, and they were pushing into a new market in India. Um, so the idea was that it was going to be an online piece, um, content piece, where it stayed true to their brand DNA but also could appeal to the Indian audience because it's quite a okay. different um, audience to what they usually have. Yeah. So it's basically a piece just to appeal to a new audience but also be quite different you know um and and just get eyeballs watching basically yeah it was like uh well, how would you describe it we've tried to go for more of an action bollywood style piece rather than um just our usual action content piece that would be just um strictly on brand for monster this was like yeah. We wanted to make it more of a James Bond Hollywood piece, but mixed in more of a Bollywood sense and, and having Indian people, you know, mixed in them. Say no more. We're gonna watch uh we're gonna watch the trailer of it and we're gonna better understand what you're referring to. Looks impressive. So it was, was it really financed and commissioned by uh, the brand Monster? Yes, it was. Yeah, we, we work closely with, with Monster and sometimes they let us have a bit of fun and come up with a crazy idea and um, mm. somehow pay us to do it. So <laughs> did they actually use that final product in their, in a campaign or actively used it in, in a marketing perspective? It was supposed to be um, strictly for India. I ended up they use it. Yeah. So way. yeah, initially it was just to be for the Indian market um, and just uh, like a YouTube content piece, just directly um, for the Indian market. But it ended up coming out so well and being such a high-paced piece that it went global um, to their global channels. Good. Good. Very good. How did it work? Are you two co-directing or who's doing what in the? piece in a production production like that. Yeah. 